Hi everyone! Welcome to another week of Connect Groups. If we haven't met before, my name is Doreen T, and I'm part of the pastoral team here at HTPB. Well, last week we just celebrated HTPB's birthday. Thanking God for all He has done these past eight years. And God has been so, so good to us at HTBB. Well, here are some announcements of what's coming up in October. We'll be having a church-wide focus on Life to the Full. It's a series where friends and family can have discussions around similar topics as they attend different ministries in church. Now, coming up next also is um, baptism and confirmation. Uh, stay tuned for those dates. Well, this past weekend, Miles shared about how God fights for us. So before we go further um, into looking at scripture and what that means to each one of us, shall we pray? Come, Holy Spirit. Come be our guide, our counsellor, and our teacher. We lift this time up into your hands. Ask that you would do what you will and speak to us for we are listening. We pray all these things, Lord, in Jesus' most precious name. Amen. Hello, HDBBCGs. So glad to be with you this week as you come together with your CG group. My name is Nat and... And my name is Leanne. We will be spending some time running through what was preached last Sunday together. As mentioned by Doreen, Mao shared a message on how God fights for us. Before we dive into the passage, it is helpful to get some background. This takes place in 1 Samuel 4 to 6. So here is a map that should be a useful visual aid. At this time in Israel's history, Israel was at war with Philistia. There was a battle at Ebenezer which they lost, and the Ark of the Covenant was captured by the Philistines. It was brought to Ashdod, where the statues of Dagon were toppled, and the plague spread throughout the city. Before it was then moved to Gath and Akron, where it brought plague to the surrounding Philistine population as well. After seven months in Philistia, the Ark was finally sent by the Philistines to Beth Shemesh, Israel's territory. The ark had returned to Israel. After an unfortunate incident where 70 people were killed when they tried to peek into the ark, it was then moved to Kiriath Jerim, which is where we pick up our reading today. The last heard to 1 Samuel chapter 7, verses 2 to 13, and read out loud in our groups. As we read it out loud, let us consider the following questions and share it in our groups afterwards. Is there something interesting you notice? Is there something that makes you wonder? Is there something to practice? Have fun discussing. Welcome back everyone. Hope you had a fruitful time of discussion as you shared your observations, questions and applications with one another. So Lian, what stood out to you as you read the passage? Mm, for me, it was uh, verses 3 and 4. So Samuel said to all the Israelites, if you are returning to the Lord with all your hearts, then read the self of the foreign gods and the asterisks and commit yourselves to the Lord, and serve him only, and he will deliver you out of the hand of the Philistines. So the Israelites put away their bowels and estrus, and served the Lord only, which, which got me thinking, what is in my heart? Um, and the idols I've allowed to take my focus away from God. Uh, idols include career, wealth, entertainment, relationship, recognition and the, the list goes on and for me I think it is uh, the need to be in control that sometimes causes me to be obsessed with fixing things and getting things right to the point whereby I, 
I end up spending too much time on on the tiny details that might not really matter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What about you? What's in your heart? Is there anything that is taking away your focus and coming in between your relationship with God? Welcome back. We hope you had a good time of discussion. Matt, what about you? What stood out for you when you're reading the passage? Well, um, verses 7 and 10, or 7 to 10, but I'll read 7 and 10, stood out to me. Uh, verse 7 reads that when the Philistines heard that Israel had assembled at Mizpah, the rulers of the Philistines came up to attack them. When the Israelites heard of it, they were afraid because of the Philistines. While Samuel was sacrificing the burnt offering, the Philistines drew near to engage Israel in battle. But that day the Lord thundered with a loud thunder against the Philistines and threw them into such a panic that they were rooted before the Israelites. So we read that just as the Israelites were about to be attacked, they had actually responded in fear. It says that as Samuel was making the offering to the Lord, the Philistines had actually gathered and attacked them while he was making the offering. Mm. And we see how God created confusion in the Philistines, which resulted in them being defeated by Israel. So I'm reminded from this that how our posture during times of challenge should be a heart of worship and prayer. I don't know if I mentioned this to you before, but you know, during the times when we were dating, um, me being the you know the blur guy who who didn't know what he was doing at that time, I, I remember making you angry a lot of times. <laughs> and you know, after sending you back, or after we had, you know, I had left, we had we had sep uh, parted ways. I I remember during those times of driving back, I'll be thinking like, how can I how can I mend this? Uh, you know this quarrel or this uh, relationship. <laughs> I don't, I you know. I didn't have an answer, right? And, and so I, I remember in those moments, I'll be just you know blasting up my my worship music and just praying and worshiping the Lord as I drove back. And well, uh, thankfully God answered prayer. <laughs> you know, we we are still together. We got married. So. You know, I think in, in times of desperation, when 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 there's no one else to turn to, or rather in times of desperation, the first person we should turn turn to is to God. So yeah, let's get into groups and yeah, I know it's very funny, right? <laughs> I'm glad I'm brought you closer to God. Oh yes, praise the Lord. <laughs> so let's get into groups and discuss the following question with each other. Are there any challenges that we are facing right now that we are reminded of that we can surrender to God? And as we close for tonight, after this, uh, let's close in prayer as well. So, Ian, can I invite you to close us all in prayer? Okay, let us pray. God, thank you that you are a God who fights for us. Thank you that God you are stronger than any of the battles that we go through. Lord, we pray, come Holy Spirit, would you fill us this evening? Fill us this evening, Lord, as we turn our eyes to you with all our hearts, Lord. Would you remove any idols, Lord, that that's in our hearts, that's occupying the rightful place right now, Lord. When you pray, come Holy Spirit, would you take its place? Would you lighten the burdens in our heart, Lord? And heal us, Lord. Lord, we also lift up any fears that we have into your hands, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that 
at the place of defeat, Lord, you have turned it to a place of victory. We thank you, Lord, that you are the sacrificed lamb and also our great high priest. We commit the rest of the evening into your hands, Lord, and also the rest of the week ahead. We thank you, God, for all that you are. And we commit the rest of the fellowship into your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.